All right, that's great. We got you now. Yeah, can you hear me? Oh yes, yeah, sweet. So um, first of all, thanks for joining us. Um, you started out as an amazing musician and now you sort of transition still doing music, but also amazing content creator. Talk about that transition and what you're up to today. Yeah, sure. So I actually started in the entertainment industry when I was 13. I was singing, modeling, and acting. I actually went to um, Taiwan to become a Mandarin pop singer-songwriter, and that was kind of the peak of my career. Um, I was best local artist, had best local album, was doing really well, like living my dream, but my mental health just couldn't take it. Um, so I decided to step back for my own health. And I reignited my passion for secondhand clothing and mm -hmm. started my dream business, Rentadella, which is a fashion rental business that allows women to um, come and rent their dream outfits. And I've just recently started by Innis, which is a small batch business selling super comfy shoes and hypoallergenic jewelry. And now I'm also through that, I'm now a content creator for my dream brands and organizations. And I wake up so excited to do my work and so happy completely less stressed because I am in control of the content I create and what I do. Um, yeah, so I'm just reliving my best life right now. <laughs> yeah, I love that your Instagram profile says singer turned CEO, which is great. It's really interesting to me because so many creators these days as we transition to Web3 are building these direct-to-consumer brands and really want to start figuring out how to do that. How do I build that? How do I become a CEO? How do I launch companies? How do I invest in other creators? Give a couple of some insight as to how you made that transition and maybe some tips for those creators who might want to go there themselves. Yeah, 100%. So for me, I literally started Rentadella overnight. I had no experience, no clue what I was doing. Uh, social media really helped me do that. I started out by making literally PowerPoints of what I wanted to sell, DMing like crazy to people, seeing if they'd be interested in my business. And from there, I started creating content. I found at the beginning, photography and collaboration being the best thing I could do. And then when I went into video, that's when everything literally blew up. I experimented with so many different types of content. And as soon as the video went viral, I'd hone into that video and create tons of videos around that same topic and would just watch that blow up again and again. But the best thing about social media is you can experiment and fail and literally rebrand overnight and start something new, which is the best thing. So there's almost no stress and nothing to lose in that sense. Um, yeah, yeah, and I also didn't know how to do anything and learned through YouTube, through the internet, how to video edit, how to do transitions, um, and how to stay on top of my game. So yeah, for anyone who wants to start something, literally just go for it. If something fails, just start over again. Like you can literally, you have an audience from your bedroom now. So it's really amazing what we can do. Well, and having done startups and knowing how stressful they are as a CEO, but not been a creator or musician at the level that you have, talk a little bit about that mental health journey and how this is so much easier than what you were going through, or, or maybe you've just learned how to deal with the stress a little bit differently. Yeah, it's, it's very funny because um, a lot of my stress came from social media when I was a singer, you know, a lot of backlash. There's always people judging you, especially when you put yourself out there. But I think with being a CEO, I really view things as a business now. Something does crap, crap comments. That is just feedback for me to do better, to change things. Um, I don't take any of it personally. And I think that is the number one thing you kind of have to do to succeed. Not take anything personally. Be like, oh, that's interesting. Oh, I wonder why they're saying that. And then change from there. And sometimes bad comments can be good. I see people getting millions of views and it's like half awful comments, but it's because they put themselves out there and it's because they're doing something different that they're getting a reaction. Like if you're getting a good or bad reaction, that's still a reaction you want. Um, just hopefully it's not too bad, but you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, do you see it like as a big focus group where you just, hey, I'm gonna put stuff out there and see what people think and then I'll adapt based on what I see in the, in the comments or from the community? Yes, I definitely do that a lot with my videos, um, especially if I wanna try something new. Um, when I do something that really works, I like to stick to that, but of course you wanna start trying new things to find other ways to expand and different avenues to go to, um, which I have been doing with my own business. I mean, we rent clothes and now we do secondhand IG live sales. I have an accessory business. Um, we do photo shoot days, but all those things were just small ideas I put out there with content to see if people would like it or not. And then if it doesn't work, I just roll it back and try something new. <laughs> So for creators that are trying to get to where you are, so inspiring, I love it. Um, two really quick questions. First of all, tell people where they can find you, what you're up to, and how they can come and uh, take advantage of what you're building. Yeah, so you can find me at Ming Bridges. I, that's my personal page, and at Rentadella is my Rentadella page, of course. You can come there, chat, see my um, content. I'm starting up on TikTok now as well, but most of my TikTok content is on Instagram. That's just my main platform. Um, but yeah, come and have a look at what I've been doing. Um, 
my top tip as well is to see what other people are doing and seeing what gets views for them and try and you know make your own version of that as well like don't try and reinvent the wheel you yeah. have all the resources there to see what people are doing and what's working uh, and to use that for yourself as well that's awesome and my last question is puppy lulu what's up with puppy lulu <laughs> Puppy Lily is good. She had a really bad tummy last night, so I haven't slept much, but hopefully I look refreshed and what I'm saying makes sense. <laughs> yeah, it's puppies will do that for you, but you know, it could have some Instagram love or TikTok love with the puppy as well, so we'll see. Although I don't think you can rent collars. I don't know if there's a business in that, but maybe there yeah, But is. you never know. I mean, puppy costumes are very popular nowadays. <laughs> yes, they are. Ming Bridges, thanks for joining us. Very inspirational. Love having you be part of VidCon, and um, good luck with the business. I think it's awesome. Thank you.